Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to increase the font size in Internet Explorer. This also covers some other browsers but each one may be slightly different. So we're going to look up someone in history just so we can get a good Wikipedia page. This guy happens to be one of my personal heroes, Benjamin Henry Grierson, was a Civil War uh, Civil War hero probably not as famous today as he used to be but uh, if you're having trouble seeing it you you're looking at the font size and what have you difficulty reading it you can actually change that right in Internet Explorer you go up to view and then down to text size now never fear if you have a newer version of Internet Explorer 7, 8, whatever uh, this, this video was put together in early 2010 if you have a version of Internet Explorer that isn't showing you the file menu don't worry you can get it back real easy if this is the way your Internet Explorer looks or, or looks similar go down to the, your keyboard and to the left or the right typically of your space bar you will find an alt key ALT hit it once you will see view and I'm just gonna put it back toolbars menu bar and then uh, now you can see your toolbars. I personally like that. Some people don't. They want that little smidgen of space. Um, I'm, a, I'm, I like it the way it used to be. Go from view to text size, and you can go larger. And so, boom, it's it's much more friendly. And you can go from there to largest, and then boom, the the text size is much more friendly. I actually have a customer who has um, a degenerative disorder of the eyes, um, customers who have glaucoma and stuff, and, and even uh, this large a font is is troublesome to them. And so they're having they're having trouble seeing what they're what they're seeing on the screen. You can also go to zoom and increase the font the font size from there actually quite significantly. Uh, in our case uh, we want to leave the font size. We're going to zoom back. We're going to go back to 100%. And by the way, you can decrease that as well if you need to see more on the screen. Maybe you've got 2018 vision or something like that and you need to see it. We're going to go back to text size medium. But we're going to give you another option that you'll like. Go to control panel. Now this is done on XP. It's going to be slightly different in other versions of Windows. But under XP, start control panel. And it'll be the same in, in other. And then um, we're going to be looking under accessibility options and under accessibility options again you've got display you can use high contrast different things like this um, things that you can add if you're having difficulties with your with your screen over here to the left you see magnifier and on-screen keyboard what's nice about the magnifier we're going to close out of where we're at and I'm just going to close this to where you can see it um, minimize this down notice at the top here so we're gonna go down here and start reading and you'll notice that where I put my mouse is what you see on the screen so to the left here you see the mouse moving over Wikipedia the free encyclopedia then you see here Benjamin Grierson blah 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 and you can begin to read something that's quite small on the screen going literally line by line volunteer Union Army so there's things you can do in Internet Explorer and other browsers and when you're done with the magnifier go back to the magnifier at the bottom of the screen and click exit and the magnifier is then gone and it resets your desktop to normal so if you want to change the the font size for yourself or a loved one in Internet Explorer or in your email for that matter you can do the same thing with view and down to text size in most email programs you can then increase that font size to something a little more friendly uh, that's one way to increase the font size you can also go in most browsers uh, here you see in the background here I've been working with uh, downloading for another video I'm going to right click on the desktop and properties and then under that we're going to go to settings and you can change the screen resolution now the further you go to the right the smaller the icons are going to get the further you go to the left the larger the icons are going to get that's the rule of thumb you can also go to advanced and tell it to use large icons I'm sorry um, not to advanced in XP but to appearance and you can use uh, larger font sizes throughout Windows not just in Internet Explorer but you can use large fonts and extra large fonts which is handy you can also uh, use large icons check and then go so that's that's very very handy 
uh, in uh, XP how you can increase the size of your font not just for Internet Explorer but for all of the rest of Windows now remember if you've inadvertently changed something too big or too small typically the road that got you there will also get you home so you typically can undo just simply by going to the process going through the process to where you added the change and then of course changing it back so make sure to keep a note of the changes you've made at least for the first couple of days so um, I hope that that was helpful uh, in the meantime enjoy your enjoy your browsing of the web and your email hopefully with a font and a font size that is pleasing to the eye and and quite legible take care